sorry guys, you don't even know where we are yet. Good morning guys, it's been a little bit, but we're currently packing up everything to leave for about 40 days from the camper. We are the unofficial official house sitters of Dallas while everybody's traveling also great so much fun so we'll be pretty much everywhere in Dallas so we're completely packed up Derek's at work and I'm about to carry these bags up Pray for me. so it's been a hectic morning I just pulled up to get some groceries had to run an errand finally just put some makeup on got some coffee and now after groceries I'm gonna go to the first apartment that we're house sitting and that is near Oak Lawn so thank you Stace and Sarah for the overflow chateau for the next couple days. But it's about to get wild. We're about to be in Oaklawn, Rockwall, Lake Highlands, Oak Cliff, and anywhere near the vicinity for the next probably month or so. And so as we do that, we're also adjusting to jobs. Derek is currently working right now on the fence in Keller, Texas, which is super far. And I start work on Monday, which is exciting. And he already started his remote job and he has training this Thursday. So we have had a packed couple of weeks and now we're just trying to get into the rhythm of new. But today I'm gonna take it kind of slow. I feel like yesterday I was so tired of even watching like vlogs cause I do that just to try to learn some more or shorts and it just felt like chaotic energy. And I'm like, I need slow living today. And so although it's been chaotic already, I'm gonna try to take it slower. Hey vlog. Here's your chicken, ma'am. Got my chicken and I'm going to the airport, but I'll be back, Dallas. Guys, we'll back. miss her so much. Also, if you're in San Diego, there's another prayer house coming up. July 15th. You yeah. should be there if you're and in California. And Kayla Greer will be there. Woo! You guys know Kayla. We miss Kayla. She's in Reading right now. Stage yes. will miss you. We love you. Thank you for blessing Dallas with your presence. So I'm currently on my way back to the place where we're staying. I'm gonna do some laundry and cook for Derek when he comes back. And we just finished the set. I'm usually never this close to home, like wherever we're staying. So it's really nice to be able to leave up room, go and then go so that I can go to outreach. Um, and so I was really just pondering a couple things with the Lord, but I'll probably pick you up in the chateau so I can drive safe and not be in this heat. It is 105 degrees. That's what my car's saying. I need a beach. Today's a hot day. We've got a lot of work to do. We're going to try to put cement in all of these posts that go all the way back there. And you guys might remember I was doing this job last week. So wish me luck because it's going to be hot today. But thank God for shade. Thank God for water. We'll get some work done. We are in one of the dreamiest places. I absolutely love being here. This is Stacia and Sarah's Overflow Chateau. And so we're here for the next couple days. I'm about to make Derek some dinner. He should be on his way home from work soon. And I'm doing laundry and there's running water. We are doing normal people things. So I'm very excited. Sadly, my outreach got canceled again. It's been a lot, but it was a beautiful set. And I told you I would discuss with you anyways what I was feeling so here we go so as I was in the set I was talking to the Lord about some of the things that have felt like a disappointment lately but I also know as we mentioned before that our hope is put in him and it hit me as we were singing that he is God and no one is above him that I've put myself to be God a lot of times when I think I know the outcome I know the timing I know the process and I'm not really just fully surrendering to him and enjoying the process of it, enjoying the time that it's taking and he knows why it's happening. And so it really just restored a lot of hope and the joyful expectation of good things to come, even if they're not in my timing. And so as Derek and I have been transitioning, we've been learning a lot about the Lord in different ways, just learning to trust him with what a relationship looks like now that we're not doing ministry full time all the time together. And at the same time, just dreams of our hearts that we have and things that we would like to do as a newlywed couple. And so with that, my encouragement to you is that God is a really, really good God. He's a good father. He doesn't not like taking care of you. He doesn't not like being involved. He is a good shepherd and he knows what you need when you need it. And like a good shepherd, sometimes he makes us lie down in green pastures still water so that we can get refreshed and replenished and sometimes 
when we're walking through the valley of the shadow of death, he's still with us. And so I want to encourage you, no matter what you're going through, God is with you, he is for you, he is God, and you are not. Do not make your yourself an idol, your plans an idol, the things that you're expecting an idol, but rather just rest on God and knowing that his ways are higher and his thoughts for us are good and he's got really good plans. So I totally forgot to tell you guys about something super traumatic that happened. Pretty much, I went to the gym, I came back home, and as I'm getting back in the car from opening the gate, I feel something crawling on my shoulder, which that was, should have just been the scariest part. But when I look down on my hand, there is a spider the size of a quarter. I flake it off, I start throwing things at it, and it will not die. I call Derek, Derek's at work, he's all the way in Keller. He can't help me, he tells me to spray the car, I spray the car, close the doors. It was horrible. So pretty much I told Derek about it, and I didn't think that he believed me. But then I got this message this morning. No sign of the spider, but I did see a web on the passenger side that connected like the handle to the seat. Saw him. I just got him. I killed him. He was oh. big no more. I'm so sorry. So it was real. I was not exaggerating. It was scary. I had to drive with it every time my hair would touch me. I would freak out. I am not a bug person. Like I sometimes like butterflies, not all the time. So you can only imagine how I felt with that and how I had to drive around in 103 degree heat with the windows down and the air on. But Kayla, your car is safe. Derek has taken care of the spider and I'm still driving my car because I'm scared. <laughs> I'm gonna finish doing laundry because I don't get to do this that often and I'm gonna enjoy it. Slow pace living. Finally, coffee in hand, and I'm about to spend some time with the Lord. Just cooking myself some breakfast. There's some oatmeal with peanut butter and some eggs with spinach. How many of you don't know, because I've been completely healed from this, but. I had a headache yesterday from something I ate, so today's gonna be a way healthier day. So I haven't officially started work like Derek has, but I do have some emails and things to set up. So while I eat breakfast, I'm gonna get some work done and then I'm gonna get started on the vlog so it doesn't catch me by surprise. But it's so nice to be in a place where I have Wi-Fi, I don't have to go to a coffee shop, even though I have to run some errands. And so as I told you earlier, it's been a really long time since the last time this happened, but usually gluten used to make me sick and used to give me headaches. And it's been a really long time, but yesterday I had the most wonderful corn chips I could find at Aldi and I decided to go overboard. And this morning I woke up with a horrible headache. And so today we're eating clean. We're gonna go get a little walk on in between our errands and I'm gonna bring you guys with me so you guys can see a little bit about what this is like right now. So errand one done, my phone keeps telling me there is an excessive heat warning. Guys, I've lived in Texas for two summers and I cannot remember it being this hot in June. We need help. I don't know what we're gonna do. It feels like an up and up there. Came on a little walk to the Kiwi Trail and it's probably been like two miles and I'm on my way back because it's gonna rain but it's beautiful I got to talk to Caitlin she's a friendship that like every time we talked I'm so encouraged and I just like want to seek the Lord and hear what she's hearing from the Lord so make sure you have those friendships around take some time to get outside put the laptop down put the phone down and just enjoy the beautiful outdoors. If you're in Texas, you know that the KD Trail is like a godsend. So I'm gonna finish my walk and then Derek should be coming home soon. I am so sweaty. Also it's starting to rain, but I've realized, guys, I miss some of the clothes that's in my storage unit because I wear the same thing in every video all the time. And so we have clothes in our storage unit that once we get a place, we'll be able to bring out and I'll be able to wear different things, but for now, this is not only my going out outfit, it's 
my working out outfit. <laughs> it's my cleaning outfit. But I had this deep desire to be a minimalist. And I think I've kind of realized it a little bit. And I don't think I could be a minimalist. It's just me being honest. And I don't know if that makes me materialistic, but sometimes I just like to have options. About chaotic energy in this vlog, y'all should have seen me coming up the stairs. It was wild. I picked up some groceries, and so I'm gonna give you guys a little haul about what I'm cooking because I'm super excited. So Derek and I don't normally eat chicken, but I picked up some chicken, some tzatziki, some hummus, red onion, almost fell, some tomatoes cucumbers, avocado, and shredded carrots. And I also have some cauliflower rice and some red wine vinegar. We're gonna go Mediterranean today. So I'm about to get ready to cook. Derek is gonna get here soon. Guys, look who's home. Yo, nice cup. Ooh. Courtesy of Station Sarah. So I'll leave you guys with Derek because you haven't seen him, but he's about to catch you guys up on what's been going on. I'm here, y'all. I pretty sure Yvonne already told you. I've been uh, doing some outdoor work with my good friend William, installing and removing three neighbors' fences. But it's always fun to work with people who value the kingdom first. And we have a really cool testimony. It was actually a bad thing that turned into a really cool thing. So there was an accident that happened on the job site that required everybody that was working on the inside of the house and on the outside to stop. And while we were all gathered together, we had to wait for a specialist to come and determine if we can continue to work on the property. And while we were walking to where our water is, William felt a sharp, immediate pain in his right shoulder. He knew that he didn't struggle with pain, so he had me ask the gentleman that was sitting right next to him as he walked by him if he had pain in his shoulder. And I had to translate this in Spanish, which that was a miracle in itself. But I did that. We found out that the gentleman had pain in his shoulder and he also told us about this uh, long-standing pain that he had in his head and in his eye. And so William and I prayed for him to be healed and as he was receiving the healing by the Lord, the Lord also prompted me to really just remind him of the gospel and to share the gospel in Spanish, which was amazing. He received it, he gave his life to the Lord right there on the spot, and his shoulder and his head got healed, and he wound up telling his entire team, which turned into like a really cool, huge praise break in the backyard and in the house, and he couldn't believe that he got healed. He said that his arm felt like it was like cool gel, like inside of his arm and he immediately felt all the pain in his head go away and because of that encounter we uh, on our team specifically we have been working with a young man but he saw the power of God through us and asked to be baptized in the Holy Spirit uh, to receive the same power that we have we shared the gospel with him he got born again and filled in the Holy Spirit uh, right in the middle of our break and it was super exciting to see the Lord move um, while we were building a fence. Seek first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added unto you. I believe that. I hope that you can agree with that. And these are the testimonies that come when you put the kingdom first in every single bit of your life, in your work. Well, all in all, it's been a couple <laughs> great days. It's been tiring. <laughs> no, not, not, not the word tiring. Like I'm tired, but I'm physically tired, but it's been so fun. God's gonna continue to move. We're praying for you guys. We love you. We'll see you next week. Peace.